At some point throughout your childhood, I'm sure you've thought at least once about digging a hole through the center of the earth. You might have been playing in the sand on the beach, thinking that if you kept digging, you might just pop out on the other side of the world. Theoretically speaking, if humanity decided to dig to the center of the earth, we would need to go down approximately 3,963 miles until we reached the inner core, but we definitely wouldn't make it that far due to the extreme temperatures. But this doesn't actually mean we can't dig really, really deep holes. This curiosity brings us to the question we'll be answering in today's video, just how deep of a hole can we possibly dig? Before we begin, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay alert of all new videos to be released. Let's say we start digging somewhere on the Earth's surface and go down 1.5 feet. This is the depth that rabbits burrow into the ground. At 6 feet, we reach the standard depth of a grave for most people in Western culture. This is where the phrase six feet under comes from, as it was first adopted by the mayor of London during the 1665 plague outbreak, because he thought at this depth, the highly infectious disease could no longer be spread to others. Continuing down to 39 feet, we encounter the deepest depths ever recorded of the Nile crocodile. If we keep digging for a while longer, we reach Deep Dive Dubai, which is the world's deepest dive pool. Going another 82 feet deeper, at 278 feet, we find the world's deepest underground city, the ancient three-leveled Derin Kuyu, located in Turkey and built to house 20,000 people. At 346 feet, we reach the deepest train station in the world, Arsenalia, located in Spain. A little more than doubling this depth is the bottom of the Congo River, the deepest in the world. And at this depth, we're still not as far down as world record scuba diver Ahmed Gabar managed to dive in 2014. It took him only 14 minutes to reach a depth of 1,089 feet, but all of 13 hours and 36 minutes to safely return to the surface without his lungs exploding from the change in water pressure. And if Ahmed Gabar would have made it another 190 feet deeper, he'd have reached the Woodling Dean Water Well, located in England, known for the deepest hand-dug well in the world, at a depth of 1,280 feet. Construction of this well started in the year 1858, and finished four years later, in 1862. Going down to 3,212 feet below the Earth's surface, or almost exactly three Eiffel Towers stacked on top of each other, is the height of Angel Falls, the world's largest waterfall located in Venezuela. A little bit further, at 3,280 feet down, we reach what scientists call the Midnight Zone of the Indian Ocean, which is deep enough that light cannot reach. This depth of the ocean is home to some very strange bioluminescent fish that create little stars in the inky blackness. Next, if we shoot over from the depths of the Indian Ocean all the way to Russia, we reach Lake Baikal, the deepest lake in the world at a depth of 5,387 feet, just over a mile deep. Deeper than Lake Baikal is the Krubera Cave, located in the country Georgia. At a staggering depth of 1.36 miles is the world's second deepest known cave. Going down just a bit more at 1.37 miles, we find the Veryovkina Cave, also located in Georgia, which is the world's deepest cave. Taking a trip over to the Alps in Switzerland, we find the Gotthard Base Tunnel that is 1.42 miles below the Earth's surface. Not only is this the world's deepest tunnel system, but even at this depth, it stretches over 35 miles in length. Centuries of evolution means some creepy crawlies even survive this deep. Until 2011, we thought the deepest animals lived about 1.24 miles into the Earth's surface, located just above the Gotthard Tunnel. But then two geoscientists, Gaetan Borgoni and Tulis Onstott, discovered a new and horrifying worm-like creature called Halicephalobus mephisto, residing all the way down at 2.2 miles, or 7.9 Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other. 
It's appropriately nicknamed the Devil Worm and can live in temperatures of up to 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Coincidentally, the Devil Worm was found just a three hours drive from the world's deepest mine in South Africa, known as the Mponeng Gold Mine, where it takes an entire hour to travel to the bottom at 2.48 miles below the Earth's surface. At this point, we're down so deep into the Earth's continental plate that temperatures can reach a balmy 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Not the best conditions for working or living. So the mine pumps ice slurry underground to cool the air to a barely workable 86 degrees Fahrenheit. From here, heading back to China, we reach the bottom of the Yalong Zhangbo Grand Canyon, located 3.29 miles deep, which is 65% deeper than Arizona's Grand Canyon, located in the United States. If we almost double this distance and go down to 6.85 miles, we reach the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest point in the ocean. Believe it or not, humans have dug holes deeper than this though. Using rigging drills, the deepest point humans have ever dug into the Earth's surface is the Z44 Chavo, the deepest oil well ever at 7.6 miles down under. If you were to drop a quarter down this well, it would take approximately 50 seconds of free falling before it reached the bottom. In comparison, this is as deep as 1.4 Mount Everest's or 27.9 Empire State Buildings. At depths this far below the Earth's surface, there's 4,000 times more pressure than at sea level and temperatures of around 356 degrees Fahrenheit. So even though humans can't make it to the center of the Earth, we have gone really, really deep. If humans wanted to dig through the mantle of the Earth, we have to go 1,800 miles deep, but this still wouldn't even be halfway through the Earth. Going all the way through to the Earth's core would take us 3,963 miles deep. To put this in perspective, if the surface of the Earth is Stockholm, Sweden, and the core of the Earth is Bratsk, Russia, we've only made it a measly, tiny distance of this so far, which may seem like nothing in comparison to the distance we would actually need to go. We hope you enjoyed this video and please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. For more interesting videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications and most importantly share. Until then, we'll see you soon in the next video.